Hey guys, it's Scott here with ATX Bourbon. I'm back from London, which means my poor man's pappy is ready to go. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's a kind of an internet recipe, got popular on Reddit and Instagram, things like that with bourbon, where it's a blend of 60% Old Weller Antique and 40% Weller 12. Um, you know, the reviews from it range from just kind of a gimmick to it's better than the constituent ingredients to it's actually comparable to some of the pappy bottlings. I'm not sure I believe that last piece of hype, but uh, you know, I've read some pretty compelling stuff saying it kind of smooths out the rough edges on the Weller Antique and then kind of brings in some more like flavor and more proof to the Weller 12. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. So I have a glass of the pa Poor Man's Pappy, the Weller Antique, and the uh, 12 all blind here. So I'm going to taste them, pick which one's the best, try to restrain myself from guessing. I'll probably fail as you guys are uh, used to, and then we'll do the reveal. So here we go. First one, and I've moved the dots to the bottom. It's a little less distracting. It smells like a buffalo trace we did bourbon. It's sweet, it's butterscotch, it's um, got a little bit of cherry. It's pretty nice. I would definitely drink this. Oh, hey, I mean, maybe you guys will be able to see the reveal before I do. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, the flavor's pretty strong, so I'm gonna guess that's either the antique or the pappy. <laughs> oh, well, there we go, there goes no guessing. Uh, and not the, uh, the 12 year, which I usually think is a little bit thinner, a little bit softer. Okay, for the second one. Speaking of thinner and softer, pretty sure this is the Weller 12. Um, yeah, it's really good. I like Weller 12. Just wish it came at 100 or in 107, somewhere in that range, as opposed to that, uh, that 90 proof. Last up. Ooh, that's really good. It's got a little bit of heat to it though. So I'm gonna guess that's the Weller Antique, but let's get this middle one out of the way first. That's one I'm most confident in. Hey, look at that, it's the Weller 12. You can really tell those lower proofs, especially for me, like anything below 100 feels pretty thin. We'll set that one to the side, take a quick sip of water. Okay, down to these last two. Yeah, so I think this uh, this glass up here in my left hand, uh, it's just a little hotter, a little more ethanol. It smells a little younger. <laughs> Right hand, a little more complexity going on there. But hey, I've been wrong on here before. So left hand, uh, Weller Antique, yay. I got the A, Weller Antique. And this last one is the Poor Man's Pappy. I will say, I am impressed. Um, I think the Weller Antique still has a place beside that, like that big, bold flavor. Uh, the Poor Man's Pappy definitely sends off some of those rough edges, maybe a little too much for some people's taste. Significant step up from the Weller 12, but does add a lot more complexity, some more oak notes, things like that you might not get in the uh, you know the six year now range that the Weller Antique is coming in. So overall, very happy with the experience. Uh, I'll be doing a written review, kind of talking about some tasting notes, and then I'll be doing another video where I compare it with um, Old Rip Van Winkle, the closest thing to Pappy I have here, and then with the uh, Weller Special Reserve, so you can see how that bottom shelf stuff stands up. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you all next time.